the third week of school we're just finishing the second week of school and I'm about to start on the third week of school um and I'm just now getting around to sitting down and talking about the first week of school and kind of how that went it went so well you guys and um, like I mentioned before I really did not want to vlog during that time because I really just wanted to focus on getting a good handle on our new schedule and our new things and just getting homeschool set up properly so I chose not to vlog but I did get a couple of clips not too much um, so I thought I would throw that together along with a little kind of talk through about how the week went and yeah so that's what I'm about to do <laughs> um so the first week of school went really really well you guys like really really well I was telling Brian um on the weekend that I felt like it was the first week that I don't know I, I feel like each year it gets better and better just because you I've grown in confidence um with how we do you know and comfortable um with how we do things going into this new school year I kind of I had a very strong grasp on how I wanted the year to go and the direction we wanted to continue to move in um, but I think a teaching summer camp really added a little extra 
um, to the plans that I have for moving into the new school year. And what I realized was that I wanted to add a bit more structure and that it was okay. Um, I think those first several years I went through it was a lot of like stripping myself of the idea that I needed to be like a school because there were just so many things. Yeah, there's just like so many things that you want to do that are school-like that just don't work inside of your home. So just kind of stripping myself of those ideals and um, being patient with our homeschooling journey and the whole process of learning what it means to homeschool um, for us. Now we are entering into um, this is our sixth year of homeschool and after doing summer camp I just noticed some things that really worked well with the kids that they really enjoyed doing while they were there and so I thought there is nothing wrong with infusing those things into our days. Um, so there were certain things that um, that I tried to implement here that very much so mimicked what we did at summer camp and I was really excited about that so this year we are doing um well at least for the first week we have adapted a bit more structure to our schedule which I took away in previous years but now adding them back I feel like I've kind of redefined what structure is and our schedule is in our homeschool and how to do it with the most amount of flexibility. Does that make any sense? <laughs> so the very first thing that I wanted to do was make sure and you know your kids get older. There were certain things I could not do last year because um, from four to five made all of the difference with Savannah. Like now she's just her attention is just um, her attention span is greater and the same thing with my younger son Kendall um, his attention span is greater it's I don't know it's weird the difference between last year and this year and I think last year I definitely wouldn't have been able to do the schedule in this way um, but this year I think it's definitely time so one of the things I did I think I showed you on another video was to pull together our schedule uh, so I went and laid out the things that I wanted us to accomplish in each day and kind of put them in order based on what I thought would work well for us um, then I used that first week of school it was more like an orientation type of things just letting them know the new things that I had to set in place our new schedule um, any new resources and just to be very clear about the flow of the days um, and what I had planned and then see what they think about it because I like that they have um, input they feel a greater ownership over their school day when I allow them to um, have a say we started on Monday with the schedule that I had planned out and then I just made adjustments along the way I think we switched very minimal things around but um, the changes that we made each day got better and better there are two parts to our schedule I have the first half of the day and then this is the second half of the day these have been working out so well these little pieces live inside of this mason jar I use mason jars for everything I know that's not for everybody um, and I think that I'm able to do that now they're they're a bit older um, they don't break the glass <laughs> I haven't had any issues just yet so these work out great for me and I have like 15,000 mason jars so anyway I just toss them in here put them on the table and then I put the clipboard the clipboard is um, over by the map that we have in our room and we just work our way through our day and that's been working out super super well um, so each day we just come in and we start from the beginning of the schedule and then we make our way through it. it some days it felt like I was stumbling through things because I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to communicate it to them. But they did a good job just kind of keeping up with me because they know their mom and they <laughs> know I can be all over the place sometimes. So um, there were certain things that we did not do uh, once we got to them. So morning basket time, we really did not do that first week because I had not 
ha I didn't have the morning basket set up yet. So I just let them know that, you know, during this time, this will be the first thing we do is all get into our morning baskets. And then we did do devotional each day. We did worship and work out together. And then we move on to Bible. After that, we pick out a quick snack because it's about time by then. And then we move on to our morning read aloud time. This has been our absolute favorite time of the day is our morning read aloud time. Um, they grab blankets and pillows and I just get comfy on one of our beanbag chairs and we just read. Right now, we don't have specific times that we... Um, that we set aside for each section of our schedule um but i figured once i move along in the weeks i'll get a better idea for how long we're spending on those parts of the days and then i'll keep you posted up um then we move on to the second half of the day we have our morning binders which we did skip the first week because the morning binders were not fully prepared yet then we move on to language arts or math depending on which day it is lunch unit study writing geography science or history depending on what day it is that is our elective and then we have quiet reading time which ends our homeschool day and then we have token time um we have token time to give them rewards for how they did during the day and it's been going so well you guys so well yeah so i have learned to keep the first week of school super simple over the years and that is what i did this time around and it made all of the difference so i'm just going to kind of talk to you about some of the things we did do uh, i do not plan my first week of school i write down a few ideas of things that i would like to do during the first week but the first couple of weeks are basically just getting the kids used to our new routine or schedule and getting their feedback and things like that. Uh, so I don't even stress myself out by planning actual subject matter to uh, get into. But I will share with you what we did end up doing. We are still working through our indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. We've actually doubled up on quite a bit of them, meaning, I mean, I don't think that was the right way to say it, but we, <laughs> we've actually repeated um, quite a few of them, which I think is always a really good thing. So we're not rushing through it. Um, but I think we pretty much have done the majority of the devotions inside of this book. So we are doing this in the mornings for devotional time. This year is our book year, which I'm super excited about. And I know I keep mentioning how I'm going to talk about it, but not just yet. But, um, so that's why we have quite a few reading, allocated reading times during our days. Um, for my oldest, Cameron, who is nine, he just finished reading wonder so he has moved on to fish in a tree we finished reading a kate d camillo's the miraculous journey of edward tulane and we have moved on to the tiger rising by kate d camillo as well they are responsible for reading a certain amount of pages in their book kendall has been doing the one and only ivan and like i said cameron has been doing wonder which he just finished and he's moved on to fish in a tree but savannah is responsible for making her way through these bob books she's generally responsible for reading um three or four of them on her own and then three three or four picture books and we use the same picture books throughout the whole week so she can get really comfortable with reading the books that she has selected okay so my battery died not quite sure where I left off but basically um unit study we haven't gotten into our unit studies just yet I was a little bit conflicted because um the next unit study that we have coming up is going to be water in our world like an ocean study plus water unit type of deal and i'm really excited to get into that however um we didn't completely finish um all of what i wanted to do for our arthropod unit study and that is because we were supposed to be um working our way through it uh, through the summer uh, because we did summer camp um, I was able to do a lot of their core work while we were at summer camp um, they would complete that instead of the work that they had assigned them at camp but for the unit study we did not get around to that and 
your friend was trying to do the most and I said to myself I was gonna still be able to do it after we got back from camp each day definitely didn't happen <laughs> definitely did not happen because camp was a lot okay so we did not work our way through the unit study like I wanted to and for that reason I'm trying to figure out if I should go ahead and finish it up or if I should just move on to the water unit and just wait till we circle back around to the Arthur Pride unit um, a little bit later on in the school year so um, I think I'm leaning more towards just going ahead and finishing up the Arthur Pod unit um, I don't have to do quite as much as I have planned on finishing up but there were certain things that I did want to cover so I may actually do that so obviously I'm still working my way through my thoughts but that is what I'm thinking about so I have our arthropod unit. I took all of our unit studies and um, put them in these white binders that I got from Sam Sill. I don't know if this video is going to go up before, it probably is going to go up before my Sam Sill haul um, is going to go up, but I'm going to be doing an, a homeschool organization haul featuring a company called Sam Sill and Poppin Store. Uh, so they reached out to me. Um, to see if I wanted to try any of their products and it just so happens that I actually really enjoyed their products so I'm going to be doing a haul of what I got from them um, which I'm super grateful for because it's helped me tremendously in organizing my schoolroom for the year but anyway like I was, <laughs> what I was trying to get to is that one of the um, products that I got from them was a big uh, case of binders and they have been so amazing at helping me organize my homeschool things so I got a big um, case of white binders and black binders so I'm going to be showing you um, that stuff in a video to come but um, I went ahead and organized my unit studies from the good and the beautiful into our binders so I have my arthropod unit here and then I also have the um, water and our world so this is probably don't hold me to it but it's probably what we are going to be moving on into after we finish our arthropod unit so i said all of that to say that i didn't even get around to starting unit studies on the first week because like i said it's just a lot of really trying to go over our new schedule and our new resources getting them pumped up and excited and hearing their feedback for things that they are interested in um learning this year so we did a lot of that what else did i want to say you guys another thing that i worked on for this week with the kids help is their morning binders so i'm going to show you this in a separate video but um basically we are going to be working through our morning binder in the morning we went over um, quite a bit of this just working our way through it and I felt really good about what we did for the first week um, just a lot of repetition and walking through the schedule and setting up my expectations for them how they're to put away the markers and how they're to put away their art supplies I feel like this is just a new level a new year and a new level of um, teaching them to be independent um, in their work and their projects and things like that so we do have our core work that we are going to be working through but I did just want to give them you know another level of responsibility over the things that we have in our homeschool room and how they can use them now I did not make it through my schedule from beginning to end but I did walk through the whole thing so I think over the next few weeks we're just going to be trying to kind of like build up our um just our ability to get you know through that full school day and it looks like it's gonna run between 9 30 I think we've been starting um to around 2 30 3:30, and we're still going to be super flexible with it what i'm really trying to work on is them being able to get up in the morning and work their way through the entire schedule on their own without needing me um except for savannah of course even though savannah's on a totally different level because she is the baby of three so she is able to do um, a lot more than the boys were doing at that age as far as following a schedule and things because she has her big brothers to 
um, follow and look up to. I think that's it, you guys. After I finished up school, Brian has been doing dinner for me for these first couple of weeks just so that I can iron out all the kinks. Um, I still have to finish filling our... I, I got through our morning binder. I got through our morning basket. And I made my way through part of my work boxes, which includes their um, binders. Not their binders, their notebooks. Um, so I just need to finish up their work boxes and then we'll be completely ready for them to be able to get through their um, their schedule on their own. I also need to go ahead and make that decision about our unit study and get, you know, whatever I'm going to put on the chalk wall up for our unit study, get that taken care of. Yeah, so I would finish up our school day and then I would just try to do as much prep work as possible in the evening times. Okay, so I just got in my order from Amazon. This is, let's see, this is the bean bag refill. I'm really excited about it, you guys, but it's not enough. Um, I got these two off of Amazon to go in our homeschool room this year, and they look super comfy, and I was really, really excited. They actually are just like covers, and they are supposed to, you're supposed to be able to stuff like stuffed animals and blankets and pillows inside. But goodness, it holds so much. And I didn't realize it was going to hold that much. So in this one, there are blankets and pillows. All of the blankets and pillows that I could find in my house. And it's still not quite as full as I want it to be. So I went ahead and for this one, I ordered um, these beanbag inserts. And I ordered two of them because the instructions said that it would be enough. They said that it would be enough, but it's not. It's not going to be enough. I put one in there already and it's still pretty flat. But I'm going to add this one to it and see how many more I might need. So I got this collector's edition. This has um, the five of them all in one. So that was really exciting. I got that from Ollie's. So it has the borrowers, the borrowers of field, the borrowers of float, the borrowers of love, the borrowers of venged. So I'm excited to start that. I'm probably only going to do one though. I'm going to start with the borrowers. I'm trying to fill these up you guys, but I think they're the nicest little addition and my lighting is like a nice little addition to our room. In the evening times, that's when I do all of my stuff, which makes filming kind of hard because a lot of times I try to wait to do my things until it's morning time so that I can film with the daylight. But um, with my new lighting um, in my room and everything, I think that I can start filming some videos at night. So look forward to that because that is when, I mean, my planning and setup time for homeschool is like precious to me and I really enjoy it. So just look forward to, you know, no makeup Serena with um, sweatpants and uh, a cup of coffee <laughs> after a long day so I can keep it moving and get my things done. And then I'll try to get some videos done during that time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed sitting down and listening to me chip chat my way through our first week of school it was really really good um it was really good i had all the feels you guys i felt like it was a nice combination of the plan that i had set up for them plus letting them have as much input um as possible so it went really well and the kids were really excited uh and i'm looking forward to the rest of the school year just I'm looking forward to this year just being more of us than it has been before in the past. And I think each year that's what gets me really excited about homeschool is seeing what our homeschool becomes. You know, you see all of this inspiration from other people's homeschools, but just getting to a place where it really starts to become what you have in your mind for how you want to educate and, um, and um and live this life with your kids so i'm really excited about that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in our next video bye